My name is Jamie Reynolds. And I am Rachel Reynolds. And we live in Lit Car in the Knott County area of Kentucky. Before we started coming to see Kevin, we had tried several different doctors in the area and had not really felt comfortable with any of them. But when we started coming to Kevin, it was worth the 45 minute drive over here because they treated us like family and we felt very confident that we were being treated well. And both of our children really liked Kevin as well. Uh, a couple of the reasons why we feel like uh, we're family here at Knott County Family Healthcare is that uh, Kevin's first answer is not to take a pill. A lot of times in healthcare these days, it's like you've got a symptom, take a pill. But you really feel like Kevin is listening to you and hearing what you're saying and not just uh, doing what he wants to do. In 2009, we had been coming to see Kevin for about a year and I was having problems in my left side. And I came and talked to him and explained it to him and he, we ran some tests and different things and I couldn't figure out what it was, but he wouldn't let it go. He just uh, kept pursuing it until finally um, uh, a test revealed that I had kidney cancer and I was able to get successful treatment for that. It was caught early enough before there were even any symptoms and now I'm 100% cancer, cancer free. And I like the fact that Kevin continues to pursue. He doesn't just uh, say that, well, there's the answer. He continues to pursue until uh, the answer is found. I think one thing that I like about Kevin is even when he's off duty, he's really not off duty. Because you know, I've seen other people that have come and talked to him, you know, maybe about a problem, and he never makes you feel like, well, I'm off the clock, don't talk to me. You know, he's always got that compassion and care, or he'll even ask you, you know, how are you doing? And you don't get that from most doctors. Uh, about a year ago, diabetes was totally out of control, coming from me on keto, and uh, now I'm off medication. Blood sugar is normal for somebody that doesn't have diabetes. A couple of years ago, I was diagnosed as being pre-diabetic. My sister, my mother, and my grandmother were all diabetic, so I knew I had, I had that potential. And so I got started on some medication and was trying to watch what I was eating. And within a few months, I had it fairly well under control. Um, but then I ran out of my medication and I didn't pursue getting a refill. And the next thing I knew, about this time last year, my diabetes was completely out of control. I was very, very sick. and didn't even know how sick I was until I started feeling better. I came in to see Kevin and he got me started on the ketogenic uh, life, lifestyle eating plan and within just a couple of months I was able to get off of my metformin completely and now uh, a year later I am uh, my blood sugar is completely normal for someone who does not have diabetes even though I do and uh, we've lost uh, we've both lost weight and just feel so much better. I had started feeling bad again, uh, but I didn't really realize it was a general progression of, of, of things, or I guess digression of things. Um, Easter weekend of 2017, uh, I realized that I had been sitting there for a couple of hours and I had drank three bottles of water in two hours and I was still thirsty. And so I knew something was wrong. And then the next morning I, I got up and I felt like a freight train had run over me and uh, just, I uh, just didn't generally feel good. And I checked my blood sugar and it was uh, almost 400. Um, and then after I realized that it was, my diabetes was out of control again, I started to realize that my vision had gotten blurry. I was getting tingling uh, pins and needle pains in my feet and legs and just a general lack of energy and malaise. And uh, it's like night and day now, now that my blood sugar is under control. And I felt committed to just to help Jamie to go on the keto diet as well. And I'm, you know, I was kind of in denial, but after losing several pounds, 30 pounds I lost, um, I felt so much better, just had more energy. And uh, since November of last year, I have just maintained, I have not gained any of my weight back. And I'm just thankful that we were able to find out about keto. As a matter of fact, we kind of laugh because if we do eat a lot of carbs, we actually feel bad. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> One of the things I like about the ketogenic diet is, or lifestyle, if you will, is that uh, is that every diet that I've ever been on before, I was hungry all the time. 
I was frustrated and as soon as all I could think about was eating and as soon as I came off of the diet I gained all the weight back and I felt just as bad if not worse than I did before but with a ketogenic lifestyle I'm not hungry if I'm hungry I can eat as long as it's within the parameters and and I've been able to maintain it as a lifestyle not just as a diet or a fad I would just like to encourage you if you are looking for someone to take care of your health and your family's health I'd like to encourage you to give Knott County Family Healthcare a try. Uh, Kevin and his team here treat you like family. Uh, they really listen to what you say, and they won't stop pursuing uh, whatever is needed uh, to take care of your health until it's done. So just give them a call. Jamie suffered from diabetes. His blood sugar was going up to 400. Normally, your blood sugar is 110 or below. He was having major problems, and he was headed down a road that was not going to be pleasant for him. He had a decision to make. He could go on back on medication or he could change his lifestyle. He chose the ketogenic lifestyle. Now he's off medicines and his blood sugar is under control.